All right, just taking a quick look at this homemade heated blanket. This is actually the number one selling heated blanket on Amazon. And so let's just take a look at it and kind of find out why. And the big reason is probably right here. <laughs> you know, it says the heating wire is not only designed in Japan, but down, down in the listing, it says actually produced in Japan. And then of course we do have, you know, all the certifications that you want to look for with these things, right? Because yeah, <laughs> you want to make sure any kind of heated blanket, any kind of heated anything really you're buying, Make sure it has the proper certifications and the benefit of this japanese wire is not just the safety aspect but you know the way they're able to route this through the blanket you can see they're able to kind of pack it in there more densely and it's just going to give you more coverage area right you're not going to have these kind of um you know there's just not going to be these areas that don't have any heating in them right and of course you know the one thing they do kind of stress too is that this wire is only 2.2 millimeters thick so very thin um which you know you Typically, you would associate with cheap, right? But the, the whole idea with this wire is that it's designed to be able to flex, you know, move around and not break, right? And, and at the same time, be so small that you can hardly feel it within the blanket. But of course, you know, the other aspect of this is the blanket itself. So um, there's basically two layers here. There's, a, you know, the inside and the outside. And they're saying that both of them are 200 grams per square meter. That's, that's what this is right there, that, that GSM grams per square, square meter. So this isn't, you know, a thread count. This is like a different metric, but really, you know, basically it's just the weight of the fabric, right? And when you're talking about blankets, basically more is better, right? And the heavier it is, the kind of the better it is. And what they're saying is it's 200 for the outside and then 200 for the inside. Now it's the same material, but it's kind of, you know, the way it's woven is different. So the outside is more of that, that typical flannel, kind of that, that micro suede flannel. And then on the inside, it's actually the Sherpa, which is more of like a wool style. Now it's, you know, it's not wool, but it's that style. So very soft, you know, very comfortable. And then we do get 10 heating levels. So this is, you know, gonna give you, you're gonna be able to get it just how you want it, right? It's not just two or three settings that you, you know, is it gonna be too hot? Is it gonna be too cold? Now over here, they mentioned this, they kind of have this chart here, you know, saying that how much better their blanket is compared to the others. You know, this is, I don't know, I, I, you know, any kind of good quality blanket, you know, is probably going to be pretty similar. Now, maybe this is in comparison to like the worst, <laughs> the worst electric blankets, but still, you know, basically the whole idea of a, an electric blanket just in general is energy efficient, right? You can really lower your thermostat in your house with an electric blanket. You're going to be directly heating your body, right? <laughs> this is the whole point. So, so yeah, it uses a fraction of the energy to keep you warm, basically, to keep you comfortable is the whole idea. And you can wash this thing, right? You just kind of, you know, unplug it, disconnect it. And, you know, I would wash it on gentle. And you also, they also mentioned that you kind of only want to air dry it, maybe on the lowest heat setting. And then make sure it's completely dry before you plug it back in, right? Um, and then the other, mention, the other thing they do mention, too, is that really nice is they give you a very long cord, right? I mean, this is something, you know, not all appliances need a super long cord, but I think this is one of them, right? I mean, you're gonna have this thing on your bed or on your couch. You want it to be able to reach to the wall outlet without, you know, without stretching it, without trying to yank it over there. And one thing to know with that as well, you know, the blanket's available in a whole bunch of different sizes here. The bigger blankets get an even longer cord, right? So it's like 16 foot, the smaller ones only get like a 12 foot, which is still decent, but that's just another thing to note, another reason you might wanna go a little bit bigger. So yeah, that's just kind of this quick overview. Hopefully you find this video helpful, interesting, and yeah, thanks for watching.